hi everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel and you're stumbling across it for the first time then uh, hello and welcome to you what I'm going to be doing today is the animal spirit totem reads um, and I'm going to be doing them for the lovely star sign of cancer okay the decks I'll be using I will drop the names and descriptions in the um, description box below but they are going to be the animal spirit by Kim Kranz then I've got the wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. It'll be the first time that I've used this deck. And then for the affirmation this time, I'm gonna be using the Oracle of the Fairies, a new deck that I bought recently that I did a walkthrough video on my channel because I did like the wording on these in the end, so I did keep these. And then at the end of the reading, my lovelies, we are going to be pulling out two runes, okay? And that's gonna be about the energy for the now and then the energies going into the month of December for the future. So without further ado then, I'm going to start um, shuffling the cards and have a look what animal medicine card we've got coming in for the lovely cancers at the start of uh, November, please. If I could have an animal medicine card, please, for the um, star sign of cancer for November. And that one's jumped in my hand, so we'll have that to start with. I'm just going to shuffle these now to have a look at the elements around you. If I can have two cards, please, for my lovely cancers for November. If I can have two cards for... They're quite big cards, these are actually to shuffle. If I can have two cards, please, for my lovely cancers. Oh, that one wants to come. Actually, there's two there, so that's brilliant. So we'll have those two. So, Cancer, let's have a look what's going on for you for November. So the first card coming out, we have, oh, wow, the wolf. Okay, so the wolf is tagging along and it's the alchemical sign of Earth because we've got the down triangle with the, the line through it. Okay, so let's have a look what's going on then. Cancer, chaos and conflict. Wow. And then we have, let's have a look, chopboard, right. Okay, then my lovelies. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Wow, you are coming in with the wolf here, okay? Now, the energy of the wolf, um, I do feel, because it's obviously an earth sign, um, there is there has been some issues around you uh, coming into November, okay? And I do feel you're still fighting the battle here, um, trying to get some uh, something in order something um is not quite right still and you're fighting your own corner here okay because with a chaos and conflict card it's just it's like fragments here okay off this it's like pieces being chipped away off this um zebra here okay because we've got a mishmash here we've got this zebra that is 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 being turned into a giraffe Okay, there's elements of the a zebra being uh, pulled off it. So I feel I'm picking up with a cancer here who feels that, that they've been having um, uh, uh, strips torn off them, okay? Literally, well, not, not literally torn off them, but as in like arguments, okay? Um, you've been at loggerheads with someone or something or some organisation, okay? Because I do feel that um, there's been some uh, unjust here as well for some of my cancers where you've had to stand your ground having the earth sign here it's about you, you, you know you're standing your ground you're solidly firm there saying no I'm not happy with this and it could be that you've torn strips off somebody okay because you're saying I'm not having this okay uh, I want this this and this okay and and you've gone in you've launched in and you've you've literally like I said taught you're tearing strips off somebody and this is the energy guys oh my gosh sorry but this is the energy I'm feeling you're going into um in November the reason is because as we go along here with the chopped wood okay um and the doors are, are wide open on this like I said, it's an issue that I feel like you've been dealing with where you've literally blown the doors open on something um, and you've and, and it's like being exposed. OK, it's like it's like somebody's been um, hiding their true identity as well from you. OK, hiding their true identity with this um, 
with this scenario going on here, uh, somebody transforming, a transformation, okay? Somebody actually um, showing their true colours to you. Now, this is, this is interesting because I've just read for, who did I just read for? Uh, Capricorn, I think it was. So if, you, if you're a cross watcher or you've got a Capricorn as well, or um, in the mix in a relationship or anything like that, it might be worth listening to the Capricorn uh, reading as well, guys. Because uh, it's sort of, it's weird how this is, uh, the energy's followed on into this reading. But I do feel, my lovelies, um, there is some chaos and conflict still going on here as we come into November. And you are literally standing your ground and you will tear strips off somebody to get this resolve. And you will, you will be, um, I feel like whistleblower. I want to say whistleblower as well. It's something underhanded that's been going on um, that you've been privy to and been aware of. And this has affected you as well. Um, whether this has affected you financially, where you've lost money, okay? Uh, and you feel like you've been unjusted, um, unjusted, unjust, if that's a word. Um, but, the, you know, you've been um, shortchanged, really. Um, and it's just to say no, you know. And it's like the chopping wood is like um, getting down to the, the nitty gritty, OK? Absolutely um, clearing the decks as well with this card so that it's exposed. Because the door's being open, I, I feel like an exposure. So I do feel somebody's being exposed here. So I'm just going to open this reading up a little bit more. Cancer, because this is quite um, an interesting read here. Just to see what other party element we've got going on. So if I can have another spirit card, please. Animal spirit card for the lovely Cancers. If I can have another spirit card. But this has been going on for a while. Because can you see all the, the burning energy here? It's like you've been... You know what I mean? You've been fueling this argument, okay, to try and get some resolve on it for a while, okay? And you're standing your ground, Cancer. You're not happy with what's going on here, and you are literally tearing strips off somebody. Now, if it's to do with the relationship, okay, um, it could be you've seen somebody, as I said, in their true colours, and this was what was knocking on from the, the previous reading for Capricorn, um, okay? And, and it's just been, that it's just exposed that person for for who they really are but yeah it's interesting let's carry on then uh another card please and i'm gonna have that one there so we have here uh peacock okay and it's the alchemical sign with the um line through it on the triangle the triangle is for air so here i feel um because uh, the peacock's regal okay as in this animal spirit card, quite grand and what have you. It could be an organisation. Now, this is what I'm feeling. It could be an organisation that you're in loggerheads with, some of my cancers, to try and get a resolve on. I do feel loss of money as well with you. You've lost money somewhere along the line. And um, I feel like th there's going to be some exposure to this company, um, whether it's uh, bad bad reviews or, or whatever you've sort of uh, stumbled across on them but this is the this is the card here of the the other element that you're dealing with now on a romantic level it could be um the person that you've been in a in a relationship with okay um gives this appearance of oh yes you know i do everything right um I'd never cross you, I'd never hurt you, do you know what I mean? They, they've given this, you know, um, look at me and, and and it's like, you know, trust me. It's this um, vibe I'm picking up here of this grandeur, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, whatever they say, they, they want you to believe, basically. Whatever they say, because it's like, look at me, how, how could you, you know, I, I'm this person, you know, I'm truthful, I'll tell you the truth. But actually, it's been a pack of lies, okay? This is what I'm feeling. You've just been fed cancer, a pack of lies, if it's to do with the relationship side, okay? And you have literally, um, you've literally torn away this uh, false exterior, because that's why we've got this... Um, this is why this is this fragment though these pieces are falling off this zebra and it's changing into a giraffe and that's with the peacock i just feel it's this this it's this false elegance it's this false image that you've been fed in a relationship and the doors are going to be you know literally blown wide open here and you're going to say you know i've seen you mate 
I've seen you for your true colours and you are a liar, uh, you're untrustworthy and I don't want anything to do with you. And it's like, this is you, you know, absolutely physically raging, okay, inside, you know, absolutely knowing that you've exposed, you know, you've literally blown this guy's or girl's cover, okay, having the, uh, the chopped wood card there. So I'm just gonna get another card just to see what um, animal spirit card we've got going out at the end of the month and going into December. But as I say, if it's not a romantic um, vibe, then it's it's some unjust uh, cancer. It's just some think where I believe you've been shortchanged, um, and or it's a situation around work where. You know you've been you've been targeted or you've been you've been told that you've done something wrong and actually it wasn't you and it was another person it's this other smarmy work colleague who's sly you know and has been talking behind your back and, and and you've gone no way i'm exposing you i'm blowing the doors open on this lot i'm blow being the whistleblower on this it's that kind of energy that i'm feeling around um you cancer for for november so whatever area i'm picking up on here where you you know the you're tearing strips off somebody uh, you're exposing somebody the truth is coming out and you're blowing the doors on something and, and i feel like you know i keep getting this short changed um aspect as well on this so yeah let's uh, have a look what we've got coming out for you then the end of um november interesting guys this is right we have the camel okay that makes sense so going out at the end of november into december my lovelies we have the alchemical sign of fire here with the upward pointing triangle okay and the camel is for endurance um and having the new moon it's just basically saying you you are going to get some closure on this by the end of the month going into um november this exposure and blowing the doors open and everything else okay then just know that you're going to be going forward into a new phase this is all going to be left behind you okay um and yeah it has been a endurance okay because camels obviously uh, can go for long periods of time because obviously they store water um and that's why with the camel card i do get even though it's a fire element having the moon in it i do get like um a water uh emotional um pull with the camel as well so yeah it has been an emotional um period this has going through this lot here and it has there has been conflict like i said there's been conflict and arguments and it's just been uh, you know really nitty gritty but just know that uh, going out of November, my lovelies, into December, um, you're going into a new cycle. You can leave, you can leave all this behind you, and you can move forward. Okay, so yeah, Cancer, it's a bit of a fiery one. That one is really, um, you know, because I do feel this exposing somebody, tearing shreds off somebody, some situation. As I say, it could be even arguments in a family unit you know where you've had to stand your ground and you've really had a go at somebody and and you know you've exposed something something has definitely been exposed whether it's a situation or a person but just to know my lovelies by the end of the month it'll be um you can leave it all behind you okay so i'm just going to uh pick a couple of the runes out now if you haven't seen the runes before they're like little small stone um tablets with symbols on and each symbol means a different energy or meaning so cancer wow um let's have a look what the energy is around you as we go into november okay <laughs> that's a nice one dun, dun, dun. so we have this is spelt and i'll spell it for you it's J-E-R-A, Jera, and it's uh, the symbol of peace and happiness. Amen. Well, I could hear you saying, Amen, because you have gone through this. As I said, you've been battling this for a bit. 
um, this chaos and conflict. And to know that um, going into November, guys, there is going to be more peace and happiness uh, be coming in around you. So I'm just going to pull the other room now to have a look what's going on in, into the December. What energies we've got. So at least you know you're going forward as well because having the arrows there like this is the you know um, the past but you are going forward in this situation so it is bringing you more peace and happiness. Okay so we have here let's have a look what we've got here. Right then, my lovelies, this is the, uh, I'll spell it for you because I could never say the names. It's T-H-U-R-I-S-A-Z, Thurisas, Thurisas, they've got like Nordic, Swedish, Viking type names these um, stones have. And it's about, um, re it's, it's about reactivating something. It's about the force and defence of something as well. Now, this is obviously... Um, because you've gone through this situation, okay, over the previous weeks or months or however long this conflict's been going on, it's saying here, um, if you look at this symbol here, okay, it's like a, a straight line, like it's a cut-off point, and then you're going forward, okay, and it mimics this card here, okay, so basically you cut off what's the problem's been, dead end it, okay, it's like a dead end, so then... Uh, it's a defence mechanism, so you can go forward, as I said with the camel, you can go forward knowing that that chapter is finished. It's a closed chapter, my lovelies. So going into um, December, you can leave all that behind and you can just carry on now um, peacefully in a, in a more happier environment and and even an uplifted spirit for you because this guys what's whatever's this energy that's been around you uh, this chaos and conflict that's been around you it has really brought you down as well um you know you've been in fight and flight all the time and it's consumed you as well um not only with you know it's, it's like been a worrying time uh, and it has really really uh, caused you a lot of grief but just to know there's going to be a blockade on that with that, those runes that have come out and then you know you can um, literally start a new phase in your life going into the start of December and leave all this behind and and this person whoever this person or organization that I was on about just to close the books on that as well so yeah my cancers I hope you can take something away from that reading and remember guys if it's not you directly then it could be a cross watcher or anyone who's got cancer in their astrology chart. So just be mindful of that. So I'll look forward to reading to you then. I can't believe it. Last month of the year in December. So I'll look forward to seeing you in December, my lovelies. Take care then. Bye. Mm -hmm.